We know this was a shootout, a wild shootout between two women, store customers, popular store there in Livonia. This is the Nichols Party Shop, a very popular party store on Merriman, right off of I-96 in Livonia. Inside today, regular customers tell me they can't believe their favorite shop is now also a murder scene, saying what happened here early this morning is truly senseless. All three involved have now been taken into custody. Customers and the clerk here say whatever that argument was about should not have resulted in a total of three people being shot and one person losing their life. I asked investigators if any of this has to do with self-defense. They said no. They're seeking charges against everyone involved in the shooting here. Also, talk to the store manager. Everything here caught on store security video. Police dealing with that video right now. Twenty-seven-year-old Markayla Sadler was an outgoing, loving, joyful, caring, and ambitious woman with a beautiful soul to match. She was loved by everyone she came across and had a close relationship with her family, including a host of siblings, her mother and father. Most importantly, she was a devoted mother to a three-year-old baby boy. No one could have imagined the chain of events that would soon take place. Around 1 a.m. on July 18th, police were called to the Nicholas's party shop on 13820 Merriman Road near I-96 for reports of the shooting. Upon arrival, they would find multiple people suffering from gunshot wounds. Looking into a fatal shooting that left a woman dead, police say a number of shots were fired in a parking lot. This happened this morning at a party store on Merriman in Livonia. A 24-year-old woman from Detroit was killed. The victim was identified as 27-year-old Markayla Sadler, who was sadly pronounced dead at the scene. Three other individuals, including the suspect, suffered non-life-threatening injuries and are in stable condition. A look into the case revealed that Markayla had just picked up her son from her grandmother's home and was on the way home when she stopped at the store. While inside, she and another woman, identified as 24-year-old Lanaya Khan of Detroit, got into an argument after the two bumped into each other inside of Nicholas's party shop. The argument spilled out into the parking lot and continued to escalate, ultimately becoming physical. At some point, Khan pulled out a gun and fatally shot Markayla. An acquaintance of Markayla's also fired back, injuring Khan and a 24-year-old acquaintance. Following Markayla's untimely murder, hundreds of people, including family and friends, hosted a vigil at a park in Redford to celebrate and honor her life. Markayla's family says although they feel a sense of relief that an arrest has been made, the damage of losing Markayla is irreparable. People have arguments every day, but you should never have to die behind it. The family of a woman killed in a deadly dispute is speaking out for justice tonight as another woman faces charges. Good evening and thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Mike Duffy. It all started with an argument at a Livonia liquor store. Police say the trouble spilled into the parking lot early Tuesday where shots rang out, ending in tragedy. Tonight, the victim's relatives opened up to 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney about the senseless and painful loss. Whitney. That shooting happened right here outside of Nicholas's party store just off of I-96 in Livonia. Police have identified the victim as 27-year-old Markayla Sadler, a young mother of a three-year-old son and a business owner. Her family says this altercation all started because of a shoulder bump. She had a whole life, you know. Sitting on a couch surrounded by her husband and children. She was just falling, you know. Everybody loved her. Lakeisha Matthews is remembering the light her daughter, Markayla Sadler, brought into every room. She was a person, you know. She has a mother, she has a father, she has siblings, she has a son. But the 27-year-old story was cut short this week. Police say they were called to Nicholas's party shop near Merriman in I-96 around 1 a.m. Tuesday after two women got into an argument inside. Investigators say shortly after the argument spilled into the parking lot, 24-year-old Lanaya Khan grabbed a gun and fatally shot Sadler. Her son is three years old. He'll be four. And now he doesn't have a mother all over a argument in a store. A man who was with Sadler at the time returned fire, injuring the suspect and a 24-year-old man who fled the scene. Khan is now facing charges for second-degree murder and felony firearm. I just want for the person who done this to go to jail and stay in jail. I feel like their life should be over also. And while the wheels of justice begin to turn, Sadler's family says it won't bring back their Kayla. 
the life of the party that was so well loved. Grab you. Yeah. Love evident by the number of people who showed up to celebrate her at a vigil on Thursday. You can't even go to the store. You can't even get into an altercation. I mean, you know, people have arguments every day. We have arguments at work. We have arguments at home. You know, you shouldn't have to die behind that. Sadler's family is currently working to start a college fund for her three-year-old son. Markayla's family is working to start a college fund for her son, with all donations being sent to the cash app. Dollar sign Lakeisha Sadler. 24-year-old Lanaya Khan was arraigned on charges of second-degree murder and felony firearm and is facing life in prison and is being held without bond. She's due back in court on August 3rd for a probable cause hearing. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy also issued a charge against 25-year-old Corey Campbell, who allegedly returned fire during the incident, for improper concealed weapon licensing. Police said Campbell had an expired concealed pistol license, so he is now charged with carrying a concealed weapon. The case remains ongoing.